smiling guys, the E-Type Jaguar. And uh, a nice example, I feel, very much so. Let's have a quick look underneath here. Look at that in there, that's nice, isn't it? Isn't that nicely presented? I think these series are such good value for money. I really do. And this one, she sounds fit. She's on 12, that's for sure. We'll try and get some numbers off you later on with the uh, when we do the photographs. For you rivet counters who want to know about engine numbers. All I know is we've got what looks to be a very nice car here. And we do lots of E-types and it's the first time in a long while I've just been sat in there just having a look around and checking out the gauges and switches and things. And my father used to run these periodically, periodically when I was a kid. In fact, I don't think we've ever been without one, but he never ran one uh, constantly. But he was never far away from one. We've always had one in the collection. We're lucky enough to have uh, two. And uh, he was never, like I say, he was never far away. I bet he was never more than six months or a year away from running an E-Type as his everyday car. And like I say, when I started uh, just now, for the first time in a long while, I've sat in one and actually taking me right back to being 10, 11, 12, 13. Remember the first time I got in one and saw all those, it's like a Boeing, isn't it really, you know, to a kid. And uh, saw those gauges and switches and, and then felt the sort of effortless power. You can slow right the way down, can't you? And she just pulls away nicely lovely car this is nice little touches like still got the original little badge up there look just nice little touches that you don't always see when they've got replacement parts and so forth very smart little car don't try to remember where you getting the boot on the damn things I always forget we'll have a look in a minute if not Jack will do some photographs for you of the boot area I always forget every time you think wouldn't you after 35 years of messing around with them I'd remember but uh, hey uh, Jack will take care of that anyway on some photographs for you But it looks a very, very nice usable car, which you'll see for yourself when you come down. Well, there you go, guys. Hopefully. The video together with some photographs has given you an idea as to what we've got. The next step is to come down and have a look, but from what I can see, it looks a very nice car. And if you're in the market for a very usable E-Type Roadster, I think this one should be on your list. 